Listen, Pennsylvania. I have had it. Okay, that was aggressive, and I, I apologize, everyone. It's just a lot of pent-up emotion. I'm ready to go. This is incredible. I don't know why we haven't, like, done this before. Hey, <laughs> guess what? This is a first. This is a first for us. We're gonna be washing a truck in an RV with snow on the ground, so warmer temperatures are coming. We're coming for you, Florida. Okay, a little backstory. Renee and I sold the car, so we're gonna be traveling together on the road from here on out. So that means we only have one tow vehicle and we have the RV. Me and my infinite wisdom thought it would be a good idea to downsize as much possible weight as we could before we hit the road. I decided to take out the car wash. It's like this much liquid weight. So all in all, just really think about what you need versus what you don't need. Obviously, Kyle, we need some car wash. I want to ask you guys, how many of you struggle with this where you're getting everything done all at once because you wait till the last very possible second to address it and then the sun just keeps falling and then you never realize how quickly the sun sets. It's just like, no, waiting for it. It's just like, please hang in there. I just have like 40 more things to do. This is nasty. So as you can see here, this is just covered in all sorts of like road tar and grime buildup over the past months of traveling. I figured we'll get her nice and shined up before we hit the road. She needs a pass so bad. But even more so importantly, come here, let's check this out. All of this, I'm talking all of this skirting here is coming off. So we gotta do that all tonight. We ended up having someone else coming in here after us. So we're gonna give this bad boy right back to them. Um, we're gonna sell this to them because we're not gonna take it on the road. I figure that's just too much weight. We have two 30 pound propane tanks. It's always suited us really well while on the road, so. I foresee we're just gonna stick with the 30s and go from there. Guys, we got a lot to do. Let's just get to work, okay? One down, 58 more to go. This is your first time joining us. We did use the foam board skirting to actually skirt the entire RV. If you haven't seen that and you're looking for a lot of information on it, pricing, how we did it all, guys, I'll leave a link up above. It goes into so much detail and it's actually really funny, so. I wanna get you guys out on the road like ASAP. Let's get you pumped because it's coming. So one thing I did want to mention is when you sit somewhere for a long time, you get a lot of dust and grime build up on the gear mechanisms, especially the slide outs and stuff. So I like to use this three in one treatment. You can use it to treat the gear mechanisms and the slide out seals, which is awesome. The more you can get the job done in one shot, the better for sure. So I'm hitting all the seals. We haven't touched them all winter. This stuff is like four to $6 a can, but well worth the insurance to have, so.
All right, got the fenders put on. Tanks are dumping, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go in and see what the wife's up to. See if we're ready, man. It's nice to be able to get some things done and not feel overwhelmed. I feel like we're way ahead of the game, more so than we usually are, so. Hey, you ready for breakfast? Yeah, I'm starving right now. <laughs> Even though it's lunchtime? Yeah, pretty much. What do you right. got? Oh, eggs, nice. Yeah, the ears. Uh, things are good. And then you're gonna do dishes before we go and all that? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna prep some chicken. Like, I'm gonna cut up chicken tonight so okay. that if we wanna eat some chicken later, I don't have to like dirty up the cutting board or the knife. So oh, sweet, okay. If I cut it up now and put it in bags and yeah. it's like ahead of the game. That's a good idea. Actually, it's a really good uh, suggestion we wanna bring to your attention that if you do wanna get all your dishes done before you leave, definitely do it while you're hooked up to your full connections. Take advantage of getting some extra showers in, get the dishes done, fill up your tanks. Because when you get out on the road, I mean, they always have amenities out there and there's places to dump, but it's just more of an inconvenience. So make the most use out of your time while you're sitting getting everything ready for your trip and you're planning your trip and making sure everything's done, just let the tanks dump. the cylinder blocks dropped off we were using those to hold the foam board insulation in over the winter that wind has been really picking up and it was pushing on that foam board insulation over the winter so we used some cylinder blocks to keep it all steady and everything now i gotta go fill up diesel top off the 30 pound propane tanks big big inside tip here if you do want to save some money make sure you fill up at those gas stations locally definitely definitely do this because when you get out on the road and you're hitting those big truck stops, it's more of a convenience fee that you're paying for. So the more you take advantage of those local gas station prices, the better off you will be. You will save money in the long run. Trust us, we know this from experience. We are almost there. Last but not least, one of the most important things in my opinion is checking those tire pressures. No matter what, even if I just checked them the night before, you just never know with the fluctuating temperatures pressure changes in elevation and everything it can really take a toll on these tires now if you guys have any recommendations on tire brands to go with throw some tire brands in the comments what model tire do you use on the road or what is one that you've found in your research that is really something you would like to invest in one day we definitely want to get rid of the stock tires and eventually upgrade to some nicer tires so let us know what you think so this, this pressure just read 114 PSI, so I'd imagine with the sun beating on it, it uh, is reading a little bit higher, so I gotta back these pressures off a little bit. Luckily, I do not have to put air in the tires. That can sometimes be a little bit of a pain, but we do have a super great investment option that we invested in. It's air pressure on the go, and it hooks up to the 12 volt battery. It's called a Vi Air. If you haven't heard of it, it's a must check out. It has saved us so much time, so much stress. You can have air whenever you need it, fill up all your tires, and then you're good to go. You don't have to rely on stopping at like truck stops that offer the amenity. You have the amenity always in the back of your truck. It's amazing. So check it out. I'll leave a link above if you want to see some other items that you might want to invest in on the road as well. Where's the man of the hour? It's time to go. It's time, okay? Hey, you ready to hit the road, buddy? I'm gonna take that as a yes, even yes. though it kind of rhymed with no. All right, let's get this all situated. Make sure those jaws are nice and open. There we go. Hey, do you want to return to hitchhike? Cause she can't hear me. I'm gonna have to return to hitchhike. I gotta do it all. Alexa, return to hitchhike. It's been a little bit. I gotta read the directions. Left and right. Left and right together. So what's nice about this Lipper electronic leveling is whenever you disconnect from your RV, you hit auto level, the trailer auto levels itself. When you go to reconnect the fifth wheel to the truck, you can actually press two buttons and it will return it to the height that you left off. And then you have to make minor adjustments, tweaks to it. And then, man, you're cooking with Crisco. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to raise it because it's settled in the dirt. 
just gonna start going up because you can tell as he's backing up that you need to uh, raise it a little bit. Good. Got it. Guys, we got a whole video on this. So if you wanna be able to safely connect to your tow vehicle, if it's a fifth wheel, we got a tutorial for it. So check it out. We'll put it in the link above. Also in the description. So you guys can hit the road and be all safe. Pennsylvania is not letting us leave that easy. We're all hooked up, ready to go. Last thing is the electrical cord. Get that unhooked. We did get it unhooked, but it's giving us its final challenge of the season. It's like stuck we underneath need a snow it. Shovel. It's like it went and got snuck underneath the ice and it froze. Four inches to freedom. We were almost there. What are you gonna do? Is that a song? Four inches to freedom. Pennsylvania, let us go. I guess we'll just stay here. At least there's no icicles above us. We got it. See you in Florida, everyone. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know where you're going, ma'am? Um, Do you need a ride? I need a ride. All right, we'll hop on in. With our lives now we just found this yeah what are we talking about boondockers welcome it's holy like mackerel amazing get on this this is incredible like let's uh let's go park this is awesome oh my goodness these views are just astounding so happy to be part of this i'll follow your lead here <laughs> <laughs> 